Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Grace and I make videos to share my experiences for those people who might need it. If you are new here, welcome and I hope that my videos are helping you. And if you are interested in watching videos about ESL tips and more, you might consider subscribing to this channel. So before we continue, so I want to welcome our new subscribers and viewers in this channel so i want to let you know i am glad that you are here so these are a few people who i want to welcome so they are lyra silo eloisa marie queen historia race and we also have here jungsu park Diane de los santos and Dion Refugio Jr. So thank you so much for leaving your comments and questions in the comment section. And I hope that other viewers who have the same concerns or questions, so you can freely leave your comments in the comment section. So this time, let's proceed to our video. So for today's video, I will be sharing to you rare jobs frequently asked questions. Since I am still receiving a lot of basic questions about rare jobs, so this video is for you, so keep watching. Alright, so let's start with our topic for today's video. But before that, let's have a disclaimer first. So some information presented in this video is based on my research and from what I experienced. I am not an expert. I just want to inform applicants and new tutors about these important facts. So I hope I'm making it clear. So let's have the first topic it's all about the lesson so what is the teaching schedule in rare jobs so rare job tutors can choose to teach anytime between 5 a.m to 12 a.m mondays to sundays new tutors however may teach anytime between 5 a.m to 8 a.m and 5 p.m to 12 a.m on weekdays and from 5 a.m to 12 a.m on weekends it means that new tutors cannot teach daytime schedules during the weekdays. So you need to commit, I think, 100 bookable slots in a month so you can open or so you will be qualified to teach during the daytime here in Rare Job. So I guess it's very easy to achieve like what I did what I experienced. So let's have the next. Are materials and modules provided? Yes, Rare Job provides the materials for the teachers and students. So you don't have to prepare. And how do I get students? So you can get students by opening your slots and don't forget to update your attendance or you need to update your schedule into a standby mode like this so the students can check your profile only if you open your slots so i always recommend new tutors to open their slots especially they are new so they need to market themselves and don't ever feel disappointed if in the first week you don't have any students that is very normal i experienced that it's part of the process keep opening your slots and students begin to discover you as their teacher and then they will come back and you students will also book for your lesson so that's how it goes all right so let's have the next question who will i be teaching so we will be teaching japanese individuals age may vary so in my experience i had junior high school students i had young adults and i also had old students like around 60 years old until i think 60 years old until 70 years old like this so age may vary but our students are most of them are polite so i guess it's not very difficult for the teachers 
Next, how long is the usual lesson? So usual lesson is for 25 minutes and the student, one student can book for two slots. So it means that 15 minutes you will have a lesson with the student. And is there a required minimum number of hours to teach? So in rare job, no. There is no required minimum number of hours to teach in rare job, so you are in full control of your time. So it's very flexible, that's why I like rare job because I can just open my slot anytime I want and if I have some emergency appointments, I can just close the slot two days before the actual class. Okay, now let's have the requirements. If, if you are an applicant, this is for you. So please watch carefully and you can take note if you want or you can have screenshots. So let's have the skills and qualifications. So you must be at least 18 years old. You should have basic computer literacy like how to manage your Skype, email, and website navigation. I think it's very easy. It's just the basic computer literacy. And then you should have a good English proficiency. You should have patience and passion for teaching, must currently be residing in the Philippines, can provide Philippine tax identification number, so you don't need to have the ID. So you just need to have the number, tax identification number. So it's very easy to get, so just go to BIR and ask for TIN. Then you must not be working for another online ESS school, yes, because this has to do with the conflict of interest and then ESL teaching experience is a plus but not required so for those teachers who don't have experience don't be discouraged you can apply I know you can and then you can conduct lessons during peak hours so late night 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. early morning 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. and Weekends, 5 a.m. to 12 a.m. So actually, in my case, I can only have peak hours during 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. I can't teach during the morning because I'm a night person, like evening person. So it's difficult for me to wake up in the morning. So I usually have my lessons at night. And it depends on you if you want to have lessons on the weekends. Now this time, let's have technical requirements. So you need to have laptop, of course, or desktop. And then you should have, I'm very sorry for the <laughs> presentation. So again, you should have a laptop or a desktop and then a headset with external microphone and stable internet connection. So you can use LAN connection. So in my case, I'm using a LAN cable. So I have a router and I directly connected my connection from the router to my computer using a LAN cable. And for the speed test requirements, download speed should be 1 Mbps. Upload speed should be 0.6 Mbps. And ping test must be less than 30 ms. I'm not really particular with the speed of my internet because as long as I can have the lesson it's okay <laughs> so as long as the student can hear you well and can see you well so it's fine and you can have your tests at speedtest.net so you can check your speed using that website and you should have active Skype and email accounts because some lessons can be conducted in your Skype and also active email or Gmail because if you have some troubles in your lessons, they will send you an email and it's very important to check your email every now and then. And then you should have built-in or external web camera. That's very important for your video badge. So you will also receive an incentive for that. And of course, you need to have a quiet teaching environment. In my case, I am using a noise canceling headset and an application called Crisp to protect my 
environment from noisy people. All right, so this time let's proceed to the application. So again, I have here some questions about the application. So how do I apply? So if you have watched my almost first video that was about the guide process, application process, so you will know that these are the things that you need to do. So first, you need to have the online registration, and then you will pass the English proficiency test, and then undergo test call and interview by booking a schedule. Undergo onboarding program. This is self-study. You will study different kinds of topics about how to conduct a lesson in rare job, and then you will have your lesson uh, practice lesson rather and then you will complete your tutor's profile and accomplish the service agreement and finally you will conduct your initial lessons so i hope that's clear and then let's have another question can undergraduate students apply yes you can apply as long as you are 18 years old and above even if you are not yet done with your studies you can just make sure to have the requirements and the skills needed. And I'm currently working with another online ESL company. Can I still apply? The answer is no. You can't because as what I have said, it has to do with the conflict of interest. So we should be like loyal to our company. That's why if you have watched my video about native cam during my system check so i said that i wasn't able to continue it because i chose to stay in rare job and then how long is the application process so it depends on how soon you can finish all the steps of your application so it depends on you if you want to finish it as soon as possible you can like me i finished my application i think in just how many days? Three to five days because I had trouble with my with choosing my name. So I wanted to choose another name that is not my name, so they rejected it. So I chose the name Mary instead. All right, so this time let's talk about the payment. How can you receive your payment as a tutor? So how do I earn? Lesson rate per student and incentives. So here, you will receive 55 passes per student. So you will just multiply that with how many slots you have. And you also have the incentives. And how and when do I get paid? So every 10th of the month, directly to your bank account, either BPI or PNB. So if you already have BPI or PNB account, I recommend you to have a separate account for your salary because it's like your payroll payroll account in my case i really had a different account i opened pnb account that is intended for my salary uh, don't worry they will provide you uh it's like i forgot the name but they will provide you uh like a document to help you open your account easily yes, it's like a recommendation i just forgot the term okay and i think that's all so if you have more questions but i think i already tackled everything almost everything in this video so if you have more questions just comment down below and i will try my best to answer them so i want to thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video is helpful to you and I hope that it answers your questions. So again, don't forget to show your love by subscribing to this channel and I hope that you will share this video to your friends who are also teachers in rare job or who are planning to apply in rare jobs so their questions will be answered. Thank you so much and I will see you next time in my video. Don't forget to subscribe and keep updated. Bye! See you!